fair to say that the upkeep for the Sino Aqua would be comparable. Still, $65 million is a small price to pay for the peace of mind that comes from knowing that you're helping Mother Earth. The Sino Aqua. I love helping Mother Earth with my $650 million yacht. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Please subscribe to this channel, by the way. Oh, God. I got to see sustainability on his hydrogen powered mega yacht. There is no greater status symbol than a super yacht. Only the richest billionaires in the world can afford one of these expensive pleasure crafts. Billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Jay-Z, and James Cameron spend their free time relaxing on super yachts worth $250 million. But sometimes, super yachts can cost even more. The hydrogen-powered Sino Aqua has an insane price tag of $650 million. The cost, combined with the eco-friendly propulsion system, led many to speculate this secretive project was commissioned by none other than Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. Here's a closer look at the high-tech and luxurious Sino Aqua Super Yacht. Yacht in okay, officially that's more expensive than the one. Think about how many islands you could buy with that, you know what I mean? That's all I'm gonna say, okay? You could buy a lot of islands with that kind of money. Bro, $650 million, dude. What the fuck, dude? Enthusiasts and the fabulously wealthy were amazed when Sino Yacht and Architecture Design unveiled something that had never been done before at the 2019 Fall Monaco Yacht Show. Visitors were in awe of a miniature model and concept of a 367 foot long hydrogen powered super yacht dubbed the Sino Aqua. Everyone wanted to have one. But there was just one problem. <laughs> everyone wanted to have one. Did everyone want to have one? I love going to the Monaco Yacht Show and wanting to purchase a 350 foot or whatever the f dude. What is this? Oh, everyone wanted to have one. A big problem. This super yacht was way out of the price range of most guests. The Sino Aqua has a mind blowing price tag of 650 million US dollars, which would make it one of the most expensive yachts in the world. Designing something this impressive doesn't happen overnight. Designer Sander Sino spent five long months dreaming up this luxurious super yacht. The Sino Aqua puts all other super yachts to shame. Green tech was combined with luxury, and the result was a yacht that looks like it was made. This has got some real like, well, I drive a Tesla, so Elon Musk is saving the world energy. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. It's green. Okay. Well, think about all the other mega yachts that aren't green. You know what I mean? It's technically so much better in the year 2100. The days of spending millions fueling up your super yacht with diesel are gone. The billionaire owner of Sino Aqua could use that extra cash to throw a massive party. Spending less money filling the tank and more money filling the champagne flutes really is a good idea. The Sino Aqua will be propelled by two 28-ton vacuum-sealed tanks of liquid hydrogen stored at negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature that hydrogen needs to be cooled to exist as a liquid. There's your science lesson for the day. The tanks will be- Wait, doesn't that blow up? I'm kind of confused. Isn't that basically like a, like a floating hydrogen bomb? Be viewable through a glass panel at the base of a luxurious spiraling staircase at the center of the vessel. The futuristic propulsion system means that the Sino Aqua will have a top speed of 17 knots and a range of 3,750 nautical miles. That's faster than most other super yachts that already exist. Hydrogen fuel cells are a zero emission energy source, and many believe that hydrogen is the fuel of the future. The propulsion system of the aqua is simple on paper, but it's complex when it's put into action. Liquefied hydrogen is converted into electrical energy by proton exchange membrane fuel cells. There are zero emissions with this hydrogen propulsion system, and water is the only byproduct. However, there will be a backup diesel engine just in case. Hydrogen fuel stations are simply not commonplace yet, but hopefully one day a backup diesel engine won't be necessary. The owner of the Sino Aqua won't have to spend a bunch of money on diesel, but that doesn't mean operating this massive super yacht will be cheap. Far from it. Super yachts typically cost about 10% of the purchase price to operate per year. If that estimate is accurate, then that means that maintaining the Sino Aqua could cost as much as $65 million per year. The upkeep of the 590-foot superyacht Azam, which is owned by President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, <laughs> it's me, dude. Al Nayan of the United Arab Emirates 
is estimated to be about $60 million per year. What? So it's fair to say that the upkeep for the Sino Aqua would be comparable. Still, $65 million is a small price to pay for the peace of mind that comes from knowing that you're helping Mother Earth. The Sino Aqua. Okay, okay, this is written by an AI, right? They write, this is like not real. Like a human being could not have written this this script. I love helping Mother Earth with my six hundred and fifty million dollar yacht. <laughs> Aqua could usher in a new age of environmentally friendly super yachts. It will take a huge crew to run the Sino Aqua, 31 people to be exact. A crew that large also comes at a hefty price. Paying all of those expensive salaries adds up quickly. The crew could cost $5 million or more. That's job creation, dude. Come on, think about it. The Sino Aqua is not just a vessel that will take you from point A to point B. This super yacht is so impressive that it puts most mansions to shame. Just imagine being pampered on the aqua. The Sino Aqua will look so graceful once it hits the open seas. The stunning exterior was designed to look like the flow of ocean swells, and the curved exterior lines and massive glass band windows make the aqua look like something right out of a science fiction movie. It would be right at home on the Canto Bight Casino planet from Star Wars The Last Jedi. How many decks would be sufficient on a super yacht of this size? Three? Four? Nope. The Aqua will have five decks, each more impressive than the last. The billionaire playboy that purchases the Aqua can enjoy sumptuous beef tenderloin in the 14-seat formal dining area. After a long day lounging on the top deck or swimming in the cascading infinity pool, you can retire to one of the world-class quarters. <laughs> Bro, I got an infinity pool on my mega yacht, dude. Quarters on board. The Aqua will feature a master pavilion, two VIP staterooms, and four regular staterooms. Each room will feature a minimalistic Japanese aesthetic. After all, what's more luxurious than a Ryokan inspired bedroom? We can't think of anything more classy. And clutter is not luxurious. <laughs> if you need a place to burn off the calories from your mimosas and seafood tower, don't worry. The Sino Aqua comes complete with an expansive indoor health and wellness center featuring a gym, a hydro massage room, and a yoga studio. Hot yoga, anyone? Perhaps the most impressive feature of the Aqua is the owner's suite, which sits front and center on the upper deck. The suite is like an observatory of sorts, thanks to the 180 degree view. You'll really feel like you're on top of the world in this fabulous suite. Oh my God, that's so weird, dude. I wonder if that's real or not. Like, I mean, it's a concept, but like, that's so strange. It's just like, haha, I'm in my $650 million yacht. Like, are you just trying to be a fucking villain? Like, the person who buys this is just like, fuck it. Yeah, I'm a villain. Yeah, billionaires are bad, dude. Fuck it, folks. I'm leaning into the meme. Straight up leaning into it. If you somehow manage to get bored soaking up the sun all day, you can enjoy some fast-paced water sports action. The Sino Aqua will be equipped with space for two 32-foot-long tender boats and three jet skis. Wait, yachts for sale by David Seal? With a name like that, you, you had to fucking sell yachts, you know what I mean? After a jet ski race, you can watch a movie in the cinema. It's just one of the many casual entertaining spaces on board. You can even visit your neighbor on his or her super yacht a few nautical miles down the coast. The Sino Aqua will have a helipad and room for a passenger drone. You could use a traditional helicopter, of course, but then you'd have to pay the pilot. The Sino Aqua is the environmentally friendly yacht of the future, so a self-flying futuristic helicopter makes much more sense. What? Okay, it's just like made up shit guys. now. It's like a kid. There has been a lot of speculation as to who commissioned the Sino Aqua. <laughs> When super yachts are built, they're always shrouded in secrecy. A billionaire isn't going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars unless privacy is guaranteed. Gates is an avid sailor and a huge proponent of green technology. <laughs> Yo, he's an avid sailor, dude. That's why he needed to get a $650 million yacht. I love doing avid sailing in my $650 million yacht that needs like 80 people to fucking run it for me. The entire video is centered around Bill Gates buying this when there is no evidence that Bill Gates is buying this. Like, they're just suspecting that he he's gonna buy it. <laughs> it's not even a thing, dude. It, it doesn't even exist. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. 
2014 Gates vacationed off the coast of Sardinia, Italy in a $330 million superyacht complete with a tennis court, two helipads, and a submarine. He was photographed enjoying the high life with his family while the yacht was moored near Porto Cervo. This vacation didn't come cheap, as the yacht Gates rented was the 436-foot Serene, which is owned by Stolichnia vodka magnate Yuri Scheffler. The Serene cost Gates $5 million per week to rent, so it would be financially prudent for Gates to own a super yacht rather than having to keep paying out. <laughs> Bro, it pays for itself, dude. Dude, these, these are written so well. Like, the, these scripts are so funny, dude. It's actually... <laughs> it's financially prudent. He's practically making money when he buys his own yacht rather than pay some fucking Russian oligarch $5 million a week to rent it. Or, you know, just don't rent a $5 million a week yacht. I don't know, dude. Outrageous rental fees. <laughs> Alas... The Sino Aqua was not commissioned by Gates. Sander Sino has denied. Wait. <laughs> reports. Wait. Inside Bill Gates' hydrogen powered mega yacht. <laughs> this video is so chaotic, dude. I love it. Commissioned by Gates. <laughs> it took us on a journey for seven minutes and 33 seconds only to pull it right. Pull it from under our noses, dude. Just kidding. Jebated, dude. It was not commissioned by Bill Sandra Gates. Sino has denied reports that <laughs> Gates has bought the Aqua. So we'll just have to wait until the super yacht is completed in 2024 to find out which billionaire is paying big bucks for this one of a kind yacht. As Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk get richer by the second, it's entirely possible that we'll see more super yachts like this one in the next decade. More billionaires in the world means more super yachts. And oh, thank God. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You know, oh God, leftists are so delusional, dude. Leftists are so delusional talking about like, uh, every billionaire is a problem, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, and then think about all the super yachts that they're able to create, you know, all six of them. I'm just saying like. Today's tech savvy billionaire has no interest in a super yacht powered by outdated fossil fuels. Aqua designer saying- Don't worry, it won't, it'll be sustainable and it won't be powered by these fucking super fuels, dude. Ugh. Casino had or not forward... super fuels, uh, fossil fuels, ugh. Looking and discerning owner in mind when the Aqua concept was imagined. The technology is groundbreaking. And if it is a success, you can bet that it will be the gold standard in the future. That's it, folks. What do you think of the- You're dead ass, the next billionaire? Stop grifting as a poor, says don't be sad alone. Yes, I am a billionaire. Hydrogen-powered Sino Aqua Super Yacht. If you had $650 million lying around, would you buy one of these bad boys? Would you pay $65 million just for maintenance? What would you do to christen the maiden voyage? Would you chill out in the infinity pool or just relax on the deck and soak up the sun? How would you christen it? By pooping in it, dude. Just off subs alone, it would only take you 5,200 years to afford it. <laughs> I get those numbers up, dude.